What's going on guys? It's John from John Goes Off Road and today we're gonna start off with a little small thing called an episode of Rick Talk. It's gonna be things where I talk about my truck and things like that, so mods, uh, what I do with my truck, what I've done with my truck and stuff like that. And today, it looks like we're gonna be getting into a little bit of some snorkel fun. So. We're gonna kind of show you guys how we installed it. It's not the way to probably go about it. We're learning as we're doing it. So we'll see how it turns out and hopefully you guys Alrighty like it. guys, just got to Kevin's house who's actually gonna be helping me install this thing. So we'll see how it goes, but everything's laid out. Kind of buy a couple tools. See about how it goes. I'm kind of Alrighty, guys. Biggest reason why I'm doing this snorkel here is just so my truck can kind of breathe better in a way. Um, and just to kind of show you, my truck only has about 3,500 miles on it. And so this is the air filter here, and we just kind of it's throwing up a lot of dust. So <laughs> that's only probably around like three or four trails. So keep an eye out on that air filter. But main reason why we're doing this is to try and have my truck breathe a little better. Alrighty guys, it's kind of loud just because we have the compressor on, but as far as right now, we gotta pretty much get this guy off, take this little sensor guy off so we can start cutting in here and ultimately start traveling in. So for the time being, it might be a little loud, but at least you'll be able to kind of see how we're kind of going about it and ultimately getting it on my truck. Alrighty guys, so we've taped it up, kind of mocking up to see how it's gonna go, how it'll look. Airbox is completely out. Now for the holes and see how it goes. So now we have to shave down these tabs in order for the hosing to kind of just clamp down properly and be flush uh, with these tabs. Unfortunately, it will not clamp right. So we're gonna get the high speed saw and chop them right off. And now we're gonna connect these four little holes that are representing the, where the big hole is gonna be at so we can kind of push through the hosing and finally get it to connect from the inside. We actually had to take off the splash shield from in here to kind of get through uh, this side from the inside. So we'll see how it goes. So we have the hose that goes from the inside over here through the other side of this fender and actually inside of my engine bay. And now it's actually time to finally put the air box on. So we're gonna go ahead and put this air box here on this side where it mounts directly to the other hose that Dobinson had made for their uh, setup. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay guys, so we finally finished and this is the finished product. It looks pretty good. I'm really satisfied with Dobinson's 4x4 snorkel and so far it's been working really well. I've only done three, two or three tries as far as driving. So for the time being, it's doing really well. Um, I am seeing a little bit of an improvement on my fuel economy since it's breathing a lot better. But um, as far as it goes, just kind of going over it, overviewing everything, we have, uh, did have to take off the splash shield in order to get under the fender and get the hosing through we had to drill about six holes or so in order to get the bolts down in and sneak some nuts in through the back in order for it to lock in really well uh, we painted all the of course holes we drilled in order for no rust to come out or anything like that so um, really the rest of it was pretty you know easy removing the air box removing the little small little sensor there and for the mo for most part I am just really satisfied on how it turned out so hopefully this little video you know helps you guys out just kind of get an overview it's not really an installation video since you know we're just kind of winging it and seeing other people also do it on YouTube and also just following the instructions on what Dobinson said to do so with that being said you didn't really need much of course as far as tools go so hopefully you guys get a little bit of inspiration and maybe go out and do it yourselves and don't forget guys to like comment and also subscribe on the page in order to kind of show me how I'm doing what I should do and then also just let me know about mods you guys think I should be doing or anything in general or anything you guys see on my truck that you might want me to kind of go over or review if I get a few of those I will definitely make a new YouTube video for it I've got other YouTube videos coming so if you guys want go ahead and go over to john.goes.offroad in order to kind of see what's coming um, as far as Instagram goes but for the most part I'll try and review things here and there on what I've done what I'm doing on here on YouTube